What is up guys? Good morning. Um, headed out to finish up a little bitty concrete pad this morning and then get ready for tomorrow's series starter class. Gonna have some guys down here taking some training. A couple equipment pickup guys tomorrow as well. Get them loaded up and out of here. Uh, so I'm gonna start doing, I've been gonna do this a long time, I just always forget. We're gonna start doing a segment called Silly YouTube Comment of the Week. And I've got one just to, to kick off this, this kind of theme. I've always got plenty, but uh, I've noticed this particular dude, I'm not going to call his name, but um, he's made several comments on some of my buddy's channels. He was on one of Aaron's videos last week, or maybe the first part of this week. He was really, really taking issue with the fact that uh, we're offering training, we're doing serious starter, we're getting newcomers to the industry, and uh, you know, it's competition for him. So this morning he commented on my video from yesterday about troubleshooting, and he was like, great video. Uh, so you're recruiting newcomers to the industry? And I said, yeah. And he said, um, in my area, question mark, is this good for me, question mark? And I already knew what his angle was. I, I wouldn't have even responded to him with the original, yeah, except that I knew where, where he was gonna go with this. So I was kind of baiting the hook a little bit, but this particular guy, he's been watching for a while. I looked at his page and looks like he's been in business for a while. He's got a few videos on his channel. And uh, I was reading his back and forth over on uh, one of Aaron's comment threads on Aaron's video. And uh, I think I've seen him comment on some, on Bobby's and maybe Jason's. I'm not sure, I don't wanna misquote there, but basically, uh, and it's a common sentiment amongst veterans, guys that's been watching a few years that they don't like new guys getting into the industry. And you know what? I totally get that. I'm not super stoked when a new person enters the fray, right? Because that's competition. And I very rarely just see people articulate it in such a way that it's just, that's just, they're straight up saying that. Uh, he did make some really long paragraphs on another post where he was kind of going into detail about fear and scarcity and all that kind of stuff. So, um, so let's break that topic down real quick and then we'll just talk about it for a second. So number one, I don't want to throw too much shade at him because he seems like a pretty good guy, but at the same time, don't make stupid comments on my channel because I might call you out. Yeah, number one is um, he was taking issue with the fact that we're charging for the serious starter. Uh, I know you guys just want to help the industry. He's being, you know, sarcastic. Um, well, we do want to help the industry, but um, there's nothing wrong with us charging for our training and making money off of it. If you don't understand that, then you're an idiot. So you make money for your time going out washing. We're going to make money for our time training new guys to come to the industry. So. If they want to get in on it, they want to take our training, you're dang right. I'm going to charge them something because I had to buy a facility. I have to take a whole Friday of my life. I've got to have a training room. I've got a presentation. I've got all that stuff. It's more than a bargain because they're going to make that back on probably their first wash job. So the the whole concept there, there's a couple of issues here. The first one is you guys are just in it for the money. Yeah. Yeah. I'm being totally honest, I'm in it for the money. Now, at the same time, I wanna offer a quality product and quality training, or I'm not gonna be in it very long, right? So, the purpose of being in business, guys, is money, okay? There's nothing wrong with being in it for the money. I absolutely hate it when people say that because it's the dumbest, like, virtue signaling thing you can possibly say. How many house washes do you go wash for free, guys? None, if your answer is, it should be zero, because you're in it to make money for you and your family. That doesn't mean you don't do a good job when you get out there and do the house wash, right? We're gonna do a good job. We're gonna provide excellent training, excellent equipment, and do the best we can to stand behind it. So that's number one, uh, the in it for the money thing. That's just stupid. Number two, uh, you're sending new guys to my area? Is this good for me? Um, well, let me answer honestly from the bottom of my heart. I'll be real, real honest here. I don't care. <laughs> I do not care if it's good for you or not. Uh, so let's back up and take a look at other industries, okay? There are more things going on out there than soft washing and pressure washing, guys. Let's say you own a uh, barber shop. Are you happy that there's five other barber shops in town and a new guy opens a barber shop? What if there's a guy in your state, you know, within a couple of hours that's training barbers? Do you go over there and say, man, man what the heck, man? I've been out here cutting hair all these years and you just, you just training all these new guys, man? You're going to saturate the market, am I? What if you're in the lawn care industry? You cut grass, you do weed eating, you do jobs right, you got a lot of clients, and an hour away, there's a, uh, a co-op that's putting together a trailer with a zero turn and a weed eater and a backpack blower, and they're selling them, they're financing them, and all these guys are buying these rigs. Man, oh, man, 
y'all saturating the market. I've been out here doing this for years. I hear y'all come. You're just getting all these new guys. Y'all just need it for the money. Does that sound stupid at all? Because it is. It sounds stupid because it is stupid. The market is a, it is its own thing. Is there such thing as an oversaturated market? Yeah, and you know what fixes that? Market corrections fix that. Once there's too many guys offering a product or too many entities offering a product or service in a certain region, right, or certain way to get the product to the end user, once that, that goes higher than the demand, the market cor corrects itself. And some of those guys go out of business. Some of those guys, they drop their prices. They get more competitive. They get more creative in their marketing. They get more boutique. They go after different clientele. And that's what you're going to have to do if you want to stay successful. You don't need to point fingers at us. We're not the bad guy. You're fighting windmills, Don Quixote. There's no bad guy here. It's just how it is. This is America and it's capitalism at work. That's what's going on. What gives you the right to be in business, but none of these new guys, they don't have the same right you got? At one point, you were a new guy. You do realize that, right? So don't throw too much hate to the new guys. You don't have to like it. They don't have to be your best friend. I wouldn't train my competition. I don't let people come up to the shop and walk around and say, I'm gonna start me a rig building company. Can I come up there and hang out in your shop for a couple of days? No, I'm not gonna train my comp direct competition. But at the same time, I'm not going to be mad. There's no, Being mad does nothing for me. It, it's not helping anything. I'm just mad. I still got the same problem. I'm still not working on my end to fix the problem. What you're doing is you're used to getting a bunch of easy leads, and now you know you're looking on the horizon. You're seeing a lot of competition entering this industry, and it's going to be more difficult for you to keep doing what you're doing. You have to put in more work to get those leads to maintain the traction that you've been enjoying fairly easily. I get it, It ain't. it's not ideal for it, the individual guy, but that's just the nature of the beast. You decided, all of you guys watching this, you decided to enter a low threshold of entry business with doesn't take much money to get going, doesn't take much training, and the profit margin potential is really high on the upside. You decided to be in the wash business. If you wanted to have a more uh, shielded thing that you did, you should have went to college and became a X thing that's really hard to be, and there wouldn't be a lot of competition for that. It, it's everywhere, guys. Gas station. How many gas stations? There's one on every corner. You think those gas station owners like it, that there's there's a guy across the street selling fuel? No. But there's anything to do about it? No. It just got to do them and be successful. That's, that's the gist of this thing. So get your eyes focused on what you can control. We're in a time in America where a lot of people are realizing that college is not the only way to be successful. They can get into the trades. They can get into painting, parking lot striping. They can get into HVAC. They can get into power washing. They can get into lawn care. And they can make a good living. Now, I get it. In one specific city, you can't sustain a whole bunch of any one of those guys, right? You can't have 500 HVAC guys in a city. You can't have 1,000 power washers in a city. They're, they're obviously not gonna all make it, but who's gonna make it is the guys that do the best. Doesn't do any good to stomp your feet and throw a temper tantrum on YouTube. So, hope that video is informative. That's my two cents on it. Uh, market saturation is a thing, okay? Don't blame us, blame the market. All we're here to do is provide goods and services to people who wanna buy them. That's, that's at the end of the day, that's it. So, hope you guys have a great week. Uh, we will get out here and knock out this little concrete pad and see you later. Peace out.